Hi guys, I've already made a full review about this electric high-speed compost, uh, so I'm not talking about the result, uh, the thing which it has been producing in just 20 hours, by the way, that's here and for me definitely looks pretty good, especially when we think about that a part of it was such a banana skin and as we know there are some really super tough things in here and uh, it has produced this nice stuff. I mean for me definitely looks pretty impressive. Also the grinding process seems to be pretty good when we look at this everything super fine. But I'm not talking about this thing because it's pretty hard to talk about these things. There are chemical processes which I cannot fully explain. I cannot measure what's really in here. For me it just looks really good. I'm going to use this outside uh, for my plants and then let's see. But here in this video I'm going to talk about the machine. I'm talking about energy consumption, noise, heat and everything. Because I think it could be very important to know if you have just a small home, maybe an apartment and you need to have this in the kitchen. And then you need to know if this is super loud, producing a lot of heat, consuming a lot of energy. And here I'm going to show you the facts of my first testing where the result has been this thing here. And so I've measured the whole energy consumption of this 20 hour process and my energy meter showed around 0.6 kilowatt hours and so when we multiply this with around 16 cent per kilowatt hour which is about the average in the United States so then we can say it's around 10 cents. So what we have here 10 cents yeah not bad I mean we don't have to bring this to the collection facility or so of course you could just grind it down the drain but then it's lost but if you have to go to Home Depot buy a little bit of uh, soil fertilizer or so then you spend definitely more than 10 cents so why not definitely not very expensive but on the other side I have the impression that the positive environmental impact can be highly doubted because of the little output and the large machine which had to be developed, built, shipped and of course it will have to be recycled or even burned at the end of the lifetime or they dump it just in a landfill. That's always something which we have to be aware of. And what I've seen in the latest blogs when people were discussing about like environmental gases which could have possible impact on climate change then most are saying that this process doesn't help. But this is just what I found. I cannot guarantee that this represents the latest science. And then of course very important when you want to run such a machine maybe in an open kitchen or so you want to know regarding the noise and regarding the heat. So I have it here on medium standard and I start this here so you can see or hear what it's doing. I go a little bit closer here with the camera so you can see what it's doing. There is some knife here inside. Some people doubt that it's a knife. They say it's more like agitating. Yeah, for me it's definitely cut the stuff and it usually does it, I mean, almost all the time. But it's not only the knife which is going around it's also the fan which is spinning. I can't tell you exactly where it is but I think it can be heard best here on the side because probably it has to blow some air to the air filter and then out here but actually I can't feel something. I mean this thing here is also covered so where is the exhaust I can't tell because I can't feel some air circulation. But the thing which I can tell you is that most of the heat, about 90% of the heat which you can feel is either here on the back or on the top. Yeah, this thing gets pretty warm. I would say even very warm. 
but really hot I mean that you can get burnt or so it has never happened or I have never seen that I have touched here a couple of times or even many times during this 20 hour process and it was never so hot that I couldn't touch it and same thing here in the back it was very warm but I wouldn't call it like hot or super hot definitely not a scary hot or so absolutely not comparable to an air fryer or so by the way also here in the front there is no air there is absolutely no air to feel i don't know where this is going but we can definitely hear sometimes when the blade is standing still not moving we can still hear a fan like noise and this is what you always have so i would say a noise similar to that you will have all the time i mean of course this is just with this device but i'm expecting that other devices will have or will produce a similar noise and that's more or less it there are sometimes very few times where it gets a little bit louder for just maybe one second or so i would say maybe every five minutes there is a little bit a louder noise maybe when the knife is reverting and then it's catching some heavier stuff maybe some hard stuff from the banana skin or so and then it has to cut or like squeeze it or whatsoever and then it's a little bit louder for a very short time but it's very short and very rare so not really something which we have to be worried about I mean we had this in an open kitchen and about five yards away from that we were watching TV and it didn't really bother us I mean that's something which you can hear it's comparable maybe to a very quiet dishwasher or so but not something which is unacceptable or so and then you maybe want to know also regarding the smell yeah unfortunately i have just put a uh, rather fresh stuff inside like a banana skin and some stuff from the garden like leaves and basil and also some coffee grounds nothing really bad smelling and so no surprise that there was no bad smell if you have some really bad smelling stuff which you want to put inside maybe you can expect a little bit but most people are saying that there is really not much as long as you maintain this filter in, in good shape i mean they are talking about that you have to replace the filter every 1000 hours of runtime so if you usually use the full program with 20 hours then it would be a replacement of the charcoal filter after every 50th batch but i would say as long as you are not using a really bad rotten old stuff you probably don't have to replace the filter i don't expect a, a lot of smell and the smell would only last as long as you have some moisture inside of course one of the biggest thing is to reduce the moisture some people even claim that it's just a dehydration of some food waste yeah for me definitely looks much more but for sure one of the main aspects here is that it will dehydrate everything which you're putting here inside here in my case it was just showing some drops here for around five hours after that it was clearing up of course we have this dripping tray here underneath where the humidity is going finally yeah maybe now when it's a little bit warmer i can feel a little bit of air here coming out but definitely not much and so you don't have to be worried when you put this pretty close to a wall i mean i would not put it directly to the wall i would leave a little bit of a distance but it doesn't have to be much especially not if you have a, a solid backsplash which is made of tiles or granite then you don't have to be worried at all i would say i mean it's pretty large definitely not a small thing you have to be aware of that it's also pretty heavy it's not a cheap thing but i would say you definitely don't have to be worried about electricity you don't have to be worried about the smell you don't have to be worried about the heat and also not much regarding the noise so this is what i wanted to show and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time